Escape from Planet of the Apes. This is the third film in the Planet of the Apes series. This one came out in 1971, and we get the return of Dr. Cornelius, Roddy McDowell, Dr. Zira. We get a great cameo and great appearance by Ricardo Montalban, who plays Armando, and I gotta say, his his character is phenomenal. I wish he had more screen time, because every time he is on the screen, it's just gold. And we get a new character in this film for a brief period of time, Dr. Milo. Now this one takes a, a different spin on the previous films. The apes traveling back in Taylor's ship to present day planet Earth, which is inhibited by humans. The roles are reversed. They kind of become the, the, the animals or the beasts and they are caged and they become the almost experiments. And then they find out that the apes can talk. This is a was a strange film for me to watch because it, it takes a weird turn. You know, one one minute Cornelius and Zira are in a zoo in a cage, and the next minute they're all over TV, going to all kinds of you know social gatherings and, and parties. And Zira is getting drunk, and Cornelius is in a robe. You heard that correct. He's in a robe. It's a strange twist. It takes a dark turn, and we get one of the doctors, Dr. Hasline, kind of probing them more questions about where they came from. And this kind of becomes a, a real interesting movie at that point. So they essentially want to kill Cornelius and Zira and their baby because they fear that there could be a potential takeover down the road. This is one of the, I would say, one of the more heartbreaking ends to a movie and characters that we've come to really love throughout the first three films. So the ending of this film is rather depressing but overall really really like this film check out escape from planet of the apes i highly recommend it very good film let me know what you think